this is Praxis and I'm here on site today and I'm about to bury all of this under slab plumbing work. It's been about a month of these trenches all being open. It was a, like literally two days shy of a month ago that this stuff was installed and the plumbing inspector was notified and they just kept not showing up, not showing up, not showing up. The town eventually got a replacement for them and within one day they showed up. They came yesterday, uh, they checked it all, it's all approved. So now we can cover it up. But before I'm doing that, I'm making sure that I'm taking photographs of everything that's down here under the slab. Very easy to do now, very difficult to do once it all gets covered up. I went up nice and high and got nice flat photographs looking down so if in the future there's ever a problem with any of these and God forbid you have to dig down to get to them I don't want to have to do a bunch of exploratory holes trying to remember where all the pipes ran if I have the photographs I can go back refer to them and then we can know exactly where we you know need to dig still pain in the butt but not as bad as having to do a bunch of holes just trying to find out where we were supposed to dig in the first place so I'm gonna be uh, covering all this stuff up uh, and it'll be a lot easier to work because it'll be nice and flat uh, it's a good activity for today because just yesterday we had a bunch of rain coming through. You can probably see there's some puddles around and the, the gravel's kind of um, you know d dark and damp. And all the decking, I've been working on the decking up above your head, all the decking is wet up there. And it's just, it, well, there's two reasons that I don't want to work on it this morning. One is it's more difficult to work with the stuff while it's wet because it's swollen and you're trying to get like tongues fitting into grooves up there. And, you know, when they're all kind of swollen up, they just don't fit as well. But even if I didn't care about how difficult it was and if, even if I didn't care that it takes twice as long just to get the board in, um, I, don't, I wouldn't want to do it anyway because... Even if I got the things all nice and snug together, they're wet now, they're swollen, and when they dry, they're going to shrink. And even if I get them nice and tightly packed together, they're going to shrink and there's going to be gaps. So I want to let the stuff up there dry before I work on it. So I'm going to be working on this. And after this, I'm going to be going around the periphery and putting up all that wire lath that you saw a couple of days ago. I was putting wire lath up on the pink foam, putting some little nails into it to hold it up. I think I'm going to uh, probably put that stuff up because it doesn't matter if it's wet to do that. Uh, and then at the end of the day, if this stuff is able to bake in the sun and really dry out, then we'll get to do some more decking. So that's the plan for today. It's a lot of different projects, but it's great because... I don't know, can you already feel it? It's like, it's starting to feel like kind of an interior space here. And once the decking goes all the way across there, it's really going to start feeling like it's a real interior space. And then we can actually start working on the house because this is all just like the extra walkout basement stuff. The actual house goes on top of this. We haven't really started with the house yet. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.